In this world of technology, things are ever changing, rearranging. You need someone to help you out. I know someone who can. Come and take a journey with me as we go through the land of technology. You'll never be alone. You'll be with Paul. I'm a dead slain in the tech zone. Welcome back, Tech Zone Paul. I'm Adeus Slane. Third and final segment continuing our discussion about VR, virtual reality. It is here, it is amongst us. And I've had an opportunity to check out VR, and I am in not in love, but I'm in love, love with it. Yes, I am. Some of the incredible things that you're able to do with VR. And you might have heard it in the last segment when I was talking to uh, Larry Gerb Goldberg from uh, Verizon Media. And he had talked about when I mentioned the first time I had on VR, I hadn't stood up for over 26 years, and how it gave me that sensation that I was when I was standing up. My next guest is going to talk about what they are doing and their technology that's really going to change the game. And I had him on uh, the abilities. Uh, zone that I do, had them on the tech zone, and ran into them again at the uh, Abilities Expo this year. Um, I, I love these two people dearly, they're amazing, and what they're doing and why they decided to do it is a truly awesome story. So I wanted to, to have them back talk about what they're doing when it comes to VR and why you should really be a part of the movement. Joining me right now, great friends of mine from Miron VR, we have Jessica Mazelin and Josh Dubon. What's going on? How you guys doing? It's great to see you again, Paul. We're doing great. Just have a lot of exciting work going on over here at Miron that we're really, really excited to share with you. Yeah, we're really excited. A lot of new stuff and, you know, can't wait to share with everybody. You know, I'm looking so forward to it, Josh. I had a chance to to check it out at the Abilities Expo, which you guys are doing since the, the last time we had you on. And it is like truly amazing what you guys are doing with the company and the direction. So for the ones who checked out the interview we did last year, uh, some things have changed a little bit with Miron and talk about the, the other direction that the company is going in now. Who would like to handle that? Yeah, you know, I think uh, with our last interview with you it was so amazing and we were so honored to be on the show and you know, to be able to get our information out there and let more people know about what we're doing with our technology. You know, Miron has, from the very beginning, been officially more uh, to uh, geared towards healthcare providers and, and exclusively for those facilities. And one of the biggest things that we kept getting, like, every single day was different emails from around the world and just saying, hey, like, I don't go to a facility or I don't have one by me. Um, can I get this for home? And, you know, the, the demand was so high that, you know, that the team at Miron was just like, we have to come up with a solution for this. You know, there's so many people that don't have access to facilities and, you know, our whole mission is to get this on as many people as possible and try to change as many lives as we can. And we just decided to create our new consumer version, which is Miron Go, which is what we're releasing this month. I'm looking forward to it because I got a chance to, to play with it at the Abilities Expo, and uh, it was it was something uh, amazing. And 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 Jess, talk about just the transition of saying, okay, now we're going to be consumer based. Was it challenging to to make that leap? Uh, why don't you explain that to us if you don't mind? Yeah, I'd love to. So there's a few different aspects that go into it. The Neuron Rehab Pro product that's for healthcare providers is HIPAA compliant, can be used with multiple patients, paired with different equipment. Um, the biggest difference between Miron Go and Miron Rehab Pro is that Go is meant to be used at home. So you can use it however you want. Some people have cycling machines, stationary cycling, FES bikes at home. You can still use Miron with those, um, but you're, it's more geared towards the personal user. So the big thing that was important for us is well, what if someone used Miron during their rehab and they benefited from it? For example, gait training. Maybe you're not doing gait training the same way that you were in a local mat at your rehab center, but at home you still want your brain to get activated in those different ways. And so we wanted to make sure that every single part of the library had a place in the Miron Go system as well. And there's so many different uses that people benefit from. So gait training, again, 
You might use it to get your body moving and do weight bearing. But when you're at home, if you're not doing gait training in that way all the time, we have some people that have told us that it's such a great mental wellness exercise and pain management experience because they can go for a walk and no one's looking at them funny or they don't have to worry about getting up and dressed, which is sometimes a arduous process for getting out of the house for anyone. And that they can just escape their surroundings and be in a totally different atmosphere for those five minutes or 15 minutes or 30 minutes. And they really enjoy that. So that was really important to us. And you know what, uh, Josh, when we were at the Abilities Expo a few months ago, just seeing the uh, interaction that ones who were using this had what was amazing. I mean, your booth was one of the most popular ones at the Abilities Expo. And I was just checking out how you and Jess and the other members of the team were just checking out the responses of those who were using it. And talk about what it meant to you to see how people were truly just energized and, and like encouraged when they put on uh, the these, this VR. Yeah, I mean... You know, the, fir the first time we went to Abilities Expo, there was so much hype and kind of just this explosive energy from people. And that was when it was just for the facilities, right? And the big difference between that show and the most recent one was all these people were trying it and they're like, oh man, like, so this one I could take home. And watching them use it for the first time, or we had people that were at the other Abilities Expo before this one, that were waiting for a consumer version. So they came back and they were like, okay, I want to sign up. Let's do this. And being able to see people from all ages, there's kids, adults, to try mirror on and see their faces light up and really just see their the way that their body is moving or whatever it is they're working on and them to be able to tell a difference just from the first demo being there at the at the, at the show was like, it was amazing, you know, because for us, it's it really is, you know, Miron is a, a team that is very passionate about the end user, like why we're creating this and our whole reason, our whole roots behind this company is just falls right down to how much we love the technology and, and being able to change people's lives. And, and uh, yeah. Yeah. And you guys definitely are too. And, and Jess, did you want to uh, jump in on, uh, on that too? Yeah. Just thinking about Abilities Expo and on the last day we had someone um, that was recently in an accident, became a quadriplegic, and he was there with his family and his mom, and they were like, oh, well, why don't we try this? And he was like, oh, I'm not really into it. I don't want to play games. And we made him try it. We kind of forced it onto him, but he ended up staying at our booth for over 45 minutes, trying out so many different experiences. I think security actually kicked all of us out because he couldn't get enough of it, and it was so inspiring to see someone that wasn't necessarily wanting to put themselves out there and try something new to all of a sudden trying something that he said if he had at home would change his everyday outlook. So just having that ability to reach people and uh, get to them. We love Abilities Expo for that reason. And sometimes people haven't tried VR and they think, oh, a headset it might be uncomfortable. The newest headset that we're on is so comfortable. I love wearing it, and so I'm pretty picky. So it's it just makes the entire experience that much more enjoyable. Yeah, it's uh, and as a person who checked it out, it is is truly truly awesome and comfortable too. Now, one thing I like about it, and, and I'm sure you guys have both thought about this because both of you guys are very bright and intelligent, is that you look at what you guys have created with Miron Go. This kind of takes the uh, excuse of, oh, I don't want to have to get up and, and go to the gym and do all this other stuff and get dressed. Now you can just throw it on your head, do some things at home, get your own exercise program. And that's what I really like about it is someone like myself being a quad, a lower level quad, is that it's hard for us to to work out and have different exercise programs out there. But what you guys have done, you guys have helped us to get some movement, get some uh, get some therapy going at home that can help us be more healthier. Because let's face it, it's been 26 years since I um, since I've been a quad, and I've gained like maybe maybe five to ten pounds a year since that. I'm still sexy as you know what, but I'm kind of I'm kind of kind of chubby now. But the one one thing I like is I appreciate what you guys have done to help us get healthy and. 
I don't think you guys realize the impact of that, but I just want to thank you guys personally for that. Thank you. That wow. means a lot. That's mm -hmm. really special because, you know, there's so many things that go into being healthy. First of all, physical mobility, no matter what uh, your level of ability is, you have to stay moving no matter what your age is. And also the mental wellness aspect, because a lot of people have different types of pain or neuropathic pain, and there's different coping mechanisms that go along with that, whether it's with uh, prescription medication or just lifestyle habits. And we really want people to have a holistically healthy experience. So Muron really targets mobility, independence, um, but also mental wellness, helping fight depression. When you're in VR, your endorphins start flowing. So you're getting a natural, healthy response for so many different levels of using this product. Yeah, thank you. Know, thank you for those words, uh, Paul, just because to us it means everything. And, you know, we're, we're so committed to creating everything around Miron and, and to be able to do everything that we can for the people that can use this. And we really do feel like we're making a huge change in the world. And, you know, that's our goal is to we want to be able to affect the lives of millions of people. And I think we can do that. And we totally are just at 100 miles an hour over here. And, you know, what's really cool about Miran Go is, you know, it's a little bit different than what the facilities will have because the one at home, it's not a subscription base, you know. So that's the biggest difference there is somebody can just get the system and they can, they can buy it, have the headset, and it has a curated library of a little bit of everything. And if they decide to buy expansion packs in the future, they can, you know, because the biggest thing is we wanted to focus on costs and not have those reoccurring subscription payments for people at home. You know, what, what they can afford at home versus what a hospital can afford is completely two different stories. And we want to be sensitive to that and try to make this ex as accessible as possible. Um, but we're really excited about it. I think one of the biggest things, too, is just the hardware and the, the direction we're going. You know, one of the things is the, the new headset, which we'll, we'll go over right now, is all inclusive. So there's no phone. It's all in one headset. Um, and it's just it's really cool. So we can go into in the, into that whole section and talk about the new hardware. Well, I'll tell you what, in the words of Captain Jean-Luc Picard, let's make it so. Let's check it out. Cool. All right. Yeah. So what we are doing now is we have started to onboard it and we will be using this headset now which is the Lenovo Mirage solo headset and as you can see it's a completely different design than our last one it is extremely comfortable and has a lot of new features which is really cool I mean if you see these two cameras in the front what that actually does it it, it has world sense so it gives us like six degrees of freedom so you can duck and dodge and do all these different things that then also, they also allow us as developers to create new experiences that have different types of range of motion and mobility inside of these experiences. So this is what you're looking at. It's all in one, no phone. It's it's really cool. You want to hold that? <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. But, yeah, um, and it kind of works just like a knob that you twist to tighten and untighten. So you're no longer have an elastic band to adjust. It just slips on. And you just give it a few twists, and it's good. Yeah, the controller is still the same uh, type of controller. You know, lightweight. You know, it's very simple to use. And I know you had a chance to use it, so maybe you can uh, tell us your thoughts about when you were using this. Or for somebody that may or may not have as much dexterity with these experiences, you know how how easy it is to use these in in the in the Miron library. Absolutely, my my pleasure. I, I know. Uh, because of my not being able to grip, um, put like a little um, kind of, uh, I don't want to say a, a sleeve or something, but we put something there that secured it in my hand. And then what, what Josh and Jess and the team did over there is they were able to um, adjust the settings where I didn't have to press a button. I can just move the wand around and do some things. I can use my head and take out some Velociraptors. And uh, it was it was pretty awesome. And that's what I like about it, Josh and Jess, is the fact that you both thought about ones who were able to press buttons and those who are not able to press buttons and, and the, the ease of access is uh, it, it's awesome. What I like about it too is that we cut the cord. You know, it's no phone, 
you know, we're at the point in time with VR that we can do this thing, do these things, and it's awesome. Yes, and those are two of the most important things for us from a user experience standpoint was, okay, we know that not all of our users have dexterity, and we know that the least amount of steps, better. So having this headset where it's just all in one, you charge it by plugging in uh, to the port over here, charge the controller, that's it. You don't have to take anything out and in and select. Um, and then just having the experiences themselves where all levels of mobility can participate. So if you can't reach something all the way that's far out in the beginning, it will come to you eventually so that it gets within your range of mobility. So having that controller being easy to use, having the headset being easy to use, having the experiences really have an objective and outcome for everyone that can use it because we have people that are spinal cord injuries, we have people that are brain injuries, strokes, cerebral palsy, Parkinson's, um, so many different goals of mobility can benefit from Miron. So there's something in there that's really for everyone and not intimidating to use. Yeah, something the whole family can use, you know, even ones who are caregivers, you know, sometimes they don't get enough exercise because they're doing a lot of uh, caregiving and sometimes exercise is kind of like the one of the last things to go. I know we chatted about this last year, but for the ones who missed our discussion last year, what made you guys want to create Miron? Because I know Josh, your background is in film and production. Jess, yours is in clinical, I believe. So what made you guys want to want to take this jump and uh, take on this Miron project? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a very um, inspirational story. You know, we had met this young girl who was five years old. It was like two days before Christmas, and she was doing a backbend in her living room, and she had a spinal stroke and became paralyzed from the belly button down. And we essentially met her through this uh, well-known artist uh, that we had done a, a really cool VR experience with. And we went out there, and we're like, okay, you know, we want to learn about what she's going through and how can we help her? You know, we got in touch with the family and they told us the whole story and we were just moved by it. So Jess and I actually flew out to Kentucky and we were out there for like two or three weeks and learning about what she's doing for locomotive training, what she's doing uh, on an everyday basis. And it was just a huge eye opener for us because we're seeing what this child is going through, uh, through her rehabilitation and, seeing things that I've never experienced before, you know, thinking about how she's sitting on something in a chair, like say an M&M or a key or something, like she can get a pressure sore that can ultimately be very, very bad for her, you know, just learning about it, just open up our eyes, we're like, okay, what else can we learn about what she's going through? And, you know, we essentially did a couple of tests in VR and the first thing we wanted to do was just to put it on her head and see if she was comfortable, if she got dizzy, or, you know, kind of those preliminary tests. But she was doing this assisted crawling exercise, and essentially she, it's when somebody's holding her hips and helping her assist with her crawling, and she doesn't like it. It's just painful and very uncomfortable, and, you know, as you can imagine, being a child doing therapy or exercise or anything isn't fun. And, you know, we put it on her head, one of the headsets that we had, and essentially it was – it wasn't anything that had to do anything with Miron yet. We were just doing the test. It was an experience that we shot of Christian Hisoi skateboarding in a swimming pool that we had we had shot in VR. We put it on her head and she kind of made her own game with it and was like pulling and smiling and all this stuff. We're like, okay, she could wear it, doesn't fall off her head. She's not getting dizzy or anything. And you know, they pulled us to the side and they're like, this is like the real analytical result of what's going on here is that she's willing to exert herself for a longer period of time and her perception of pain is almost 100% decreased. And her overall like mental state and wellness in her mind was just through the roof. Like she was just happy and, you know, we're just like, wow, like there's something here. So, you know, long story short, you know, we decided we came back to California and we wanted to create experiences to help her through her recovery and realize this was much bigger than just something for, for her. We can help more kids and adults. and. We started putting Miron together and got a, a team and started working with different facilities and practitioners and started developing experiences that we felt would be able to be utilized in 
the principles of physical therapy, occupational therapy, and neurological engagement. And, you know, boom, we had a library. You know, we had this super awesome, expansive library, and we started getting into different facilities around the world, you know, where we have people utilizing it in Australia, New Zealand, uh, Germany, Canada, Mexico, you know, and we just realized, wow, like, there's a need for this and there's no one out there doing this. And it took us for a complete left turn, but we were just so moved by this girl and 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 the whole spinal cord community and just be like, what can we do to help? And how can we utilize our technology on the medical side and pair those things together? And and there you have it. That's, that's why we started the company. I love it, I love it. And, and you can tell, uh, the passion that you both have. And that's one thing I really like to delve into when you talk to ones who are techpreneurs, startups and everything, and, and hear that that passion and the and the it of why they did that. The why factor is, is truly awesome. So you touched on something that I really wanted to, to go back to, the mental wellness of things. And this is a discussion I have with a lot of people in the gaming industry, especially ones who are disabled uh, about the mental and the social aspect of, of, of just doing things when it comes to VR and gaming and and touch on that a little bit more about the mental wellness and about how Miron really tackles that yeah so you know mental wellness is so important and I, it's becoming more recognized which is great because everybody at some point has to deal with mental wellness. You might be sad or upset or depressed, especially if you've had an accident that changes your life. And adjusting to a new normal takes a lot of hard work. And some days are better than others. So we really wanted to be able to provide a way that people can escape. And some of the experiences that we have that are targeted for mental wellness are simply where you're in a new environment, you're by a lake, or you're on a nature walk, or you're um, doing meditation. And then we have other experiences that are guided mental wellness experiences, like assisted breathing exercises and mental wellness practices. So there's a range of what are you in the mood for? Do you want to be guided by someone and their voice to go through breathing? Or do you just want some time by yourself? And because everybody needs both of those things. so. You know, there's some experiences in there that are really gorgeous, some beautiful places um, that are fun to just escape to. And when you're in VR, your pain perception is diminished. So if you have pain or uh, chronic pain or pain from a procedure or surgery, you can benefit just from going into these mental wellness exercises and really escaping your physical reality for a few minutes. Or if you're just even having a day where you want to take a break, but it's not as easy as blowing off some steam and going outside because let's say it's icy out and it's hard to get around in the wheelchair in the ice, then you can put on the headset and maybe you want to go somewhere that's much nicer weather than where you are. We had a lot of people saying that this past winter. You can go in and be in summertime in the middle of winter. So just different ways that can help you escape your reality that make you feel happier get your endorphins flowing, lower your pain perception are really, really awesome experiences that you can easily just put on and sit back and enjoy. I love it. I love it. So how can ones find out more information about Miron, Miron Go, some of the great things that you guys are doing? How can they do that? To learn more about Miron and Miron Go, we are really active on Instagram. We love the online community. Our handle is at MironVR. Or you can visit our website, MiranVR.com. There's also a link in the bio on Instagram to get there to make it easy for you. And if you sign up for our newsletter, you will be in the know about all the promotions that we send out. So we're really active in the online community. And if you follow us, we'll follow you back. So find us at MiranVR. Also, we have a special offer for you guys for watching TechZone. Josh will tell you more about that. Yeah, just please make sure to use the... Uh, Paul on Wheels promo code to receive a special offer when you're signing up for your Miron Go package. And we look forward to hearing from all of you. And we're here to answer all your questions about what you know, anything, you know, if, what you're doing at home, how the library can be utilized with your specific needs at home. And, you know, we're, we're here for you guys. And we look forward to hearing from everybody. 
man, y'all going to make a brother get emotional. Y'all, y'all, got, y'all gave a promo code, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all did that for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is one of the best shows on the internet. So definitely, Paul, we appreciate all that you do. And uh, I think it's just a really awesome opportunity for people to have a, a life changing experience and to get healthy and happy and all the things that are important in life. And we're happy that you're a part of it with us. So thank you. No, I really appreciate it. And I'm looking forward to to bigger and uh, and more explosive things with, with Miron and, and helping out spreading the word and everything and I appreciate uh, the opportunity that you both have given me and uh, let's uh, let's shake up the world let's do this yep. yeah let's do it you can achieve more with Miron VR once again a huge shout out to my pals from Miron VR uh, Jessica Maslin call her Jess and Joshua Dubon call them Josh my pals from uh, Miron VR great individuals great um just human beings and what they did to create uh, Miron and sharing that story with us and, and how you can experience it as well. Don't forget when you go to uh, their website and you sign up for it, make sure you use the promo code Paul on wheels. And I'm so happy to announce my partnership with them as one of their, their brand ambassadors being able to bring awareness to this, uh, especially from those uh, who are part of the, the disabled community, having a product that they can work out with, and I can I truly stand behind it. I'm so happy to be a part of the crew. All right. With that said, it's time for us to make like a tree and get out of here. And until next time, take care, folks. We're going to talk about some more great things here on the Tech Zone. Always reach out to me, paulonwheels.com. And uh, don't be surprised if you see me doing some cool things with Miron coming up within the next few months on the Instagram and the Twitter and the Facebook and all the social media platforms out there. Have some fun with it. Take care, folks. Love y'all. In this world of technology, things are ever-changing, rearranging. You need someone to help you out. I know someone who can. Come and take a journey with me as we go through the land of technology. You'll never be alone. You'll be with Paul. I'm a dead slain in the tech zone.